Welcome to Arkansas Wildlife. Hunting seasons are in full swing in Arkansas, but fall is also a great time to do some fishing in the natural state. This week, it's all about fishing on the Little Missouri River. We're gonna start near its headwaters in the Washita National Forest, work our way through Lake Greeson, and even do some fishing below the lake on the Narrows Dam tailwater. It's all about smallmouth, crappie, and trout on the Little Mo right after this break. Arkansas Wildlife is brought to you in part by Academy Sports and Outdoors. For all, for less. and scenic only begins to describe the natural state's Little Missouri River. Rising in the Washita Mountains of Polk County, the Little Missouri carves a course through some of the state's most rugged terrain on its nearly 150-mile path to meet the Washita River north of Camden. Its character changes frequently as it marches toward its destination. The river begins its journey as a rough and tumble whitewater stream descending more than a thousand feet in elevation in less than 30 miles. It pauses briefly to form Lake Greeson behind Narrows Dam near Murfreesboro, and then ambles southeasterly at a more leisurely pace through the Gulf Coastal Plain. But it's the river's headwaters in the Washita National Forest that help the Little Missouri earn its federal designation as a wild and scenic river where the river swirls around massive boulders and spills over serrated slabs of ancient bedrock, and where crystalline water summons anglers in search of native Washita smallmouth bass. We made it to the Little Missouri River. We're up on the headwaters. We're in the Albert Pike area, and uh, you can see it's a little small, rocky, Typical Washita stream here. And our first species we're gonna go after, smallmouth bass. The Little Missouri's headwaters provide the essential elements for smallmouth bass habitat. A fall rate that oxygenates and cools the water, rocky substrate, and clean water. Crayfish typically comprise the bulk of a Little Missouri smallmouth's diet. The theme is watermelon red. Stream fishing for smallmouth requires targeting current seams and the slack water behind larger boulders and bouncing or dragging the lure across the river bottom. Nice little deep pocket over here, less current, a bunch of boulders, typical smallmouth hiding spot. And when it all comes together, Time setting the hook. <laughs> Barely get it all in his mouth. Fortunately, the fish got a little bigger. It's fun, they're not big, but they think they are. With much of the Little Missouri running through the Washita National Forest, public access is abundant. The Albert Pike day use area provides an easy access point, and U.S. Forest Service maps can guide more adventurous anglers to other good stretches of the river. Wherever anglers find access, they'll also find smallmouth bass that make up for a lack of size with a wealth of spirit.
beautiful fish in a beautiful place. fishing in Arkansas, and there's a lot of great crappie fishing in Arkansas, but when it comes to crappie fishing, one of the bodies of water you hear consistently about producing big numbers of crappie and big size crappie is Lake Greeson down in the southwestern part of the state. We went out on an early fall fishing trip with Dustin Holmes from Action Fishing Trips, fishing out of the Swaha Marina and Lodge on the lower end of the lake. Went out and fished a bunch of brush tops. Dustin puts a lot of work in placing this brush out throughout the year. It didn't take us long to get on a good crappie bite. When we drop these down, this is going to go fast, so be ready. Loose in the boat. Uh, did not take long. <laughs> we were fishing live minnows under slip courts and using slip courts allows you to vary your depth whether you you know might start earlier in the morning and go to deeper brush piles later in the day you can quickly adjust those uh, or if the fish seem to be holding uh, on the sides of the brush or on the top you can you can adjust your depth quickly that way there is a half one in this brush right here about 10 foot another key is electronics uh, you really need to be good at uh, knowing how to find that brush and finding out if there are actually fish on there. Uh, Dustin is very keyed in to what he wants to see and it didn't take him long to find uh, the, the scenario we were looking for on Greeson. What I've got here is a point running out and a creek channel here. Um, this time of the year, fish back out a little deeper. Um, it's coming off of uh, summertime going into the fall. So what I've done is sunk a brush pile here, about here, out here probably 20 to 22 foot deep, top of the brush being anywhere from 14, 13, 14, somewhere in there. Um, and like I said, we just went over it and it's, it's loaded up. first to admit that I am not an expert crappie fisherman. I enjoy it, but I don't think I really have the, the patience for it. Uh, but going out with a guy like Dustin, uh, you didn't really need a lot of patience because we got on the fish early and we stayed on them throughout the day. And it's one thing to go out and catch numbers of fish, but not only did we catch numbers, we were catching some hammers. You hear people say slabs? These were slabs.
Formed by Narrows Dam on the Little Missouri River, Lake Greeson covers about 7,000 acres near Murfreesboro in southwest Arkansas. Dustin Holmes grew up fishing these waters, but his passion for angling goes even deeper. You might even say fishing runs in his blood. Dustin's mother is Tammy Richardson, a former professional bass angler who claimed multiple victories on the Women's Bassmaster Tour and who won ESPN's 2006 ESPY Award for Best Angler. After stepping down from her professional angling career, Tammy started guiding anglers full-time on Greeson. And a few years ago, she made Dustin an offer he couldn't refuse. I've been guiding full-time for about four years now, three and a half, four years. Um, before I did this, I worked offshore for Pacific Drilling. Old field kind of come down, and like I said, my mom, she had the guide service. Um, you know, she fished professionally all her life, and then she come back here um, and uh, decided to, uh, you know, start a guide service where she could come home and be close to home. So anyway, she was like, well, you know, I'm about done. If you want to, you know, buy the boat, you know how to do it. You know, you'll be fine. If you want to do that, you can buy the boat and do that. So that's what I did. He got one right there. Oh, it may be in the brush. No, it's fish. No, okay. Dustin put us on the fish from beginning to end, and in just less than three hours of fishing, we put 49 big crappie in the live well, including two and a half dozen that measured between 14 and 17 inches. But all good things must come to an end. I mean, you gotta stop sometime, I guess. <laughs> and the sad time came to head back to the marina and a world beyond it where catching slab crappie doesn't happen every day. You saw that those fish went into the live well, and uh, we had a little hero shot there at the end of the day. We actually filled two five-gallon buckets full of those crappie, and I think we ended up with about 18, 20 pounds of crappie fillets. I know because as I put them in gallon freezer bags, I weighed each one, and uh, we literally ended up with about 20 pounds of fillets, and I can't wait to eat those. That's about 10 gallons of crappie right there. <laughs> If catching all those fish wasn't enough to convince you that action fishing trips on Lake Greeson is the way to go, consider that I'm sitting over here in the catbird seat while these guys are cleaning the fish. I offered to help, but uh, Dustin said I would just slow him down so uh, to stay out of the way. So that's what I'm gonna do. A fantastic trip. I wanna say thank you to Dustin Holmes and William Tate with Action Fishing Trips. Showed us a great time, put us on some big fish and a whole bunch of them and I can't wait to go back and do that again real soon. North Arkansas's world-famous tailwater fisheries aren't the only places to find trout in the natural state. For a different take on tailwater trout, anglers can head south to the Narrows Dam tailwater below Lake Greeson, where cold water releases support rainbow and brown trout stocked seasonally by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. This morning I'm starting out with the tried and true olive woolly booger. And it's a beadhead woolly booger. You know, I haven't seen any fishing reports for this. I don't see a lot of bugs coming off the surface. Uh, and so, you know, I'm really just looking for a reaction bite. I'm fishing this thing, I'm casting out, slightly quartering downstream, uh, either perpendicular or slightly quartering downstream and letting it dead drift for the first 10 or 15 feet. Uh, I've got a couple of strikes like that, and then you can start stripping it back. So uh, doing a couple different things with the woolly booger, and you know, I just don't really know that much about this stream, so uh, I'm going with uh, Fly, that is a consistent producer.
actual fight in him. Fish here. Oh, he got off, man. But you saw plenty of that fish. We got all the good out of him. How'd he get off after all that time? You'll see these large boulders behind me over my left shoulder here. And that's actually some habitat work that the Game and Fish Commission did with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers about 10 years ago. Because this tailwater comes straight out of the dam, and there really, there wasn't anything there. Uh, and they basically created a, a meander, tried to more closely mimic a natural stream by placing those rocks. It basically makes a little S-curve there. It just gives it a little bit more natural stream ecology there. Water released from the bottom of Lake Greeson is too cold to support the river's native smallmouth, so trout were stocked here to mitigate the loss of the native fishery. Working together, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission have improved habitat and provided a southern Arkansas trout fishery that draws anglers from that part of the state as well as Texas and Louisiana. Yeah. There we go. And there's your final species on the Little Missouri River. Downstream from Narrows Dam here. Great little trout fishery. Doesn't get a lot of pressure. Check it out, man. Southwest Arkansas trout fishing. Arkansas Wildlife presents the Watch and Win Giveaway. During each episode of Arkansas Wildlife, we'll give away an Arkansas resident hunting and fishing license. At the end of this season, we'll be giving away $500 worth of hunting gear with everything you need for your next hunting adventure. It's all provided by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Visit the Arkansas Wildlife webpage and enter at ArkansasWildlife.com. This week's winner is Thurman Clark from Prim. Congratulations and thanks for watching.